cat, this cash out center, you watching Tacos Talk TV. But what I could do for rap, I could change the stigma of you gotta be a killer to like be be cool. Like you don't gotta be that. You know what I'm saying? Then I hit them samples, it's another little level I get on. Like I be trying to get on. You know what I'm saying? When I like on point, yeah. 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 I feel that. But I didn't give away even did a toy drive. Okay. Yes, okay. and jump. Okay. Yes, some toy drive gave away toys and shit. Shit, I'm just pushing these music. I'm about to have endless music videos. I'd be on a whole bunch of different platforms, different states and shit like that. Like right. 2024, I'm coming high. You hear me? GSM shit. You hear me? Hey man, say man, thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned in with the motherfucking voice of the youth, Taco Talks TV. You hear me? And we in the city and we doing big shit today. It's uh 2024. We kicking down doors and doing more for show. You hear me? Who I'm, who I'm sitting with though? Cash out, son. Okay. Yeah, okay. West What's up though? How you? I ain't knowing none, man. Y'all, y'all artists too? Nah. nah okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just my young niggas, man. They okay. With me, support, you know. Cool. Okay, well, good support, good energy yeah, and shit. Yeah, no question. How you, uh, how you feeling? What's the word? What's I'm new? Good. I'm good. I'm just working. Okay. Staying humble. Okay. Focus. Staying humble and focus. That's my number one rule. Okay. You, wh- you got any? Uh, did you set your? Uh, what's what's the joints called? The New Year's resolution. You did some of them joints. Uh, nah, not really. Okay. I know what I need to do. Like, I don't want no resolution. I need to do this every day. Okay. Work harder. Why? Right. Work harder every single day. It right. ain't no New Year's resolution. That's an every day resolution. I feel that. That's how I feel too. Like I ain't, I ain't too much on the motherfucking New Year's resolution. Like, yeah. Yeah. because you fuck around. You should have been there. Then. Right. Fuck you talking or, about. Or, or motherfuckers, they be acting like they gonna do all that and then they don't come, do it. Right. They yeah. doing it for January and February and. March coming, they back to the same person they was last year. Nah, for real. You hear me? So I say, man, fuck that shit. We just, like you said, every day shit. You hear me? I started, I think I started slight in February and shit. Oh, my bad. December. Started in December doing what I'm supposed to be doing and yeah. shit. So I could come into the new year already logging that in though. But, um, man, Cash, I was saying, what's, what's, I mean, I just want to know. I got I got a couple of things, right? So I just want to start at the top. For you, right? I'm watching interviews, doing my research. Why is it important for you to stay out the mix? I think when I when I saw that, I'm like, damn, that's just like. For me, I gotta stay out the mix so I can stay out here. All right. See what I'm saying? I be in a mix. I got I got real big dreams and aspirations. All right. See what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to take this shit further than be okay. trying to be international. So I can't do that shit in no cell or no grave. And I, I, I know a lot of men who ain't make 21. So I'm saying I got a lot of men that's, in, that's locked up too, so. Right. Shit deeper, even what ne- other niggas be talking about. So right. I'm saying. And, and I, I heard you say something along the lines of, you ain't fucking with this side or you ain't fucking with that side, just so it could be clear. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it could be neutral. You ain't gonna see me pictures with this guy, you ain't gonna see pictures, videos, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And we could all be cool. We could all be cool and shit like that, but it's just, I'm on my own time. Right. That's how I, that's how I grew up, on my own time. I don't want to be a whole bunch of different places. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like where I'm at right now. As, as a youngin' though, like, you know, how did you even come up with that mindset? Was it a movie? Was it an old head? Was it some people in the house? Like, how you come up with that, that mindset? I came up with the mindset of just being my, on my own time. Damn, that's a good question. I really don't know. I, my family always told me, though, like, stop saying them niggas your friends, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, them natural friends. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, so I never been big to be like, oh, let me be with this crowd or that crowd. I always been people want to hang with me. You, you know what I'm saying? You are, uh, you are only child or you got siblings? Only child. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense then, because... Cause, you know, you already doing it by yourself. That yeah. shit ain't nothing yeah. anyway. That shit yeah. ain't nothing new. Yeah. A lot of people be having a hard time with that though. A lot of people like can't be in their silence or yeah. be by themselves. Yeah. That shit they feel weird to they them. Can't. But it's important. Right. It's important. You gotta know yourself. Right. If how do, if you don't know yourself, how the fuck you gonna show other people but, but look, who you niggas, are? Niggas can't even that's a that's a good point too though. That's a good point too though. Hey, I heard niggas say uh you know, you be an imposter for so long, you fuck around, and once that run out, 
then what? Now then you what? got now you gotta go back to being yourself and shit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? And so. they don't like that. Right. It was a custom of you being that imposter. So right. now you switching up like, oh shorty, I don't know who you right, are. Right. I ain't listening to you no more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Hey, that's thorough though. Like, I think that I think that definitely make a good foundation. Have you have you had to cut a lot of your friends off? Uh See, I, I got the same friends for like six, seven years now. Right. You know what I'm saying? When we transitioned, we all elevated. We all was in the closet or in the closet making music and shit like that. You right. see what I'm saying? So it's like we all elevated with each other. We all, so nah. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not big on opening my circle. I don't open no doors. Right. But I'm big on keeping my door very closed. How you, how, you, how you get to that though? Because I was just telling a little joint this week, I'm like, you know, she like, uh, you know, I could come over to your spot. I said, nah, ain't nobody coming yeah, to my spot. Yeah, you hear me? That's yeah, just how it yeah, is. She got mad. Wrong. She like, I shouldn't have told you to come over to my spot. I'm yeah. like, man, nah, you chose that. I've been living by it. I'm not breaking the rules for you nah, or nobody for else. That's yeah. law. That's yeah. law. That's how you supposed to be, though. Bro, 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 bro. You some sad. Like, yeah. I'm big on not opening my circle because it's like, I'm all, we already got a, we united. Like, I asked some men, it's like, nah, we going to fuck it up. Like, why yeah. we... It's good where it is. Cool. You see what I'm saying? Like, nah. I seen your men, though, and I, I was watching some, and it seemed like I was all on the same page. And then if y'all went on the same page, I like the way you did it. It was like a slight correction, and that embarrassing, bro, but like, hold on, we ain't on that right yeah, now. Yeah. We tighten up, we on this yeah, side. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So I'm I, very respectful. Right. My, I respect my men, and my men respect me. Right. So they know if I tell you, I'll tighten up right quick. Or if they tell me, nah, tighten up right quick, Charlie, because they tell me tighten up. Right. I need to be tightened up. Everybody need to be tightened up sometimes. You hear me? Right. So yeah. you gotta always have an open mind up. Nah, let me listen. Let how me you, listen. How you get to the point where you ain't you ain't get uh frustrated? Cause sometimes, you know what I'm saying, somebody might correct you or whatever. And you're like, oh, like, fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I, I do get like that. <laughs> I'm already. I you do get me? like that. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? But I do, I'm very big on I think. I think so. It'd be like I act like that, and then right. ten, one, two minutes later, I come back like, "Nah, you right though, soldier." You know what I'm saying you right though. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm. If if I'm wrong, I'm gonna say I'm wrong, and if you wrong, I'm gonna say you wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying I'm real big on that. What What made you start thinking bigger than DC? Like, what was What was the thing that you might have seen that had you like, nah? Oh, if that one we ain't on no DC time. Oh my man. Right. Like not I ain't, like a lot of men passing away and getting locked up and shit. See what I'm saying? That shit, I don't know how that shit don't open up other people's minds. See what I'm saying? But it did open up my mind. Like, nah, I'm not trying to just be here. My mother wants to keep telling me about this house on the beach and shit like that. Like, it ain't no beaches in DC. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. So I gotta go. I gotta go. And and like, I've been here all my life. I'm really from DC, uptown, northwest, like Meridian, Cleveland. Howard, Coolidge, like, yeah, like, yeah. Brooklyn Middle School, like, <laughs> D.C. Right. Nah. What, all right, hold on. Why, why we on D.C.? Uh, I'm going to get back to the interview, but I just want to know what is the best color mumbo sauce to you? That light shit. I am. The pink I, joint? Everybody keep talking about this dark shit, and yeah, I go to no, Golden that's China. That Southeast shit. I go to that's Golden that's that's China. Southeast shit. But, but, but <laughs> Howard, China, Howard, Howard China, Howard China... Mumbo sauce cool, but it's not too light and it's not too dark. Yeah. You know what I'm saying how would China, how would China got the best mumbo sauce in the yeah. city? So just I can't. I, I, I'm gonna have that. to. Hey, look, when we do the vlog, I'm gonna come through. We are gonna see what's going yeah, on on that level. But I, 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 steak use and it. cheese, egg oh, roll, cash. half right. and half. Yeah. I went. I went to uh, my school. I went to. Uh, I went to school on Kansas and Eighth, top of the hill and okay. shit. You know what I'm saying? And at the bottom of the hill is a carry out right there. I ain't fucking with that joint. They on that pink slime shit. Yeah, me. I yeah, can't. I, yeah. My mumbo sauce, that shit burgundy dock, like like motherfucking that's, Capital nah, Mumbo. Nah, soldier. That's, that's, that's barbecue yeah, that's sauce. Barbecue ketchup sauce. Ketchup sauce. Ketchup sauce. Ketchup sauce. Nah, 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 you know he crazy. Yeah, 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 like, y'all ain't like, making that shit, bro. Y'all ain't like, not. Nah, that pink slime shit. I don't know. What, what is that made out of? No, See, bro, it, that's bro. real mumbo. Yeah, that's a mumbo. Right. That's a, that's that's a, we know what that right. dog shit made exactly. out of. Exactly. That's barbecue sauce. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just say it like this, right? If you, if you like, if you got pancake mix, right? You should be able to take the pancake mix out of the box 
and then make it from scratch with scratch ingredients, flour, sugar, you know what I'm saying? If you can't mix it up like that, you shouldn't be eating it because you don't know what's in it. Oh, that's how I personally feel. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That pink slime shit, I'm like, oh, where the fuck is they getting slimy ass pink sauce from? Okay. Right, that's respect. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If it, and you right. right. If it's ketchup, if it's ketchup barbecue and hot sauce... I ain't never tried to make the mix in my house, but yeah, you, you know can make that in your house. Go I ahead and try it tonight. <laughs> yeah, man. Go ask some mama, so yeah, homie. Make that in the house, man. Right, 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 right. Now I just had I always gotta get on that because everybody, especially like if you go out of town, they trying to get hip to my bro. So yeah, yeah me, I'm yeah. I'm taking that dark shit. But All right, so what's your best? What's your favorite curry out? I like to join that uh uh in Landover. It's called Lenny's. They make that burgundy. I don't know nowhere else that motherfucking Jeez. got the burgundy Jeez. junk you talking about. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean that just on the curry out level, cause shit, I seen a I seen a joint the other day. It was like they had a dog wrapped up and they was taking that joint in the back. They told the people stop recording. Y'all ain't yeah, see that? I believe. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, why I, I ain't fucking with that. My joint, I know they at least they catching crows. If they ain't got chickens, yeah. they catching some kind of bird. They not trying to <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, me. Hey, they, they not going through trying to yeah. fold the dog ribs up and yeah. fry them joints hard. They ain't on that. They yeah. on at least we're gonna get a crow or a buzzard or some shit yeah. like that. But I, I ain't trying to get too far. Mumbo shows that like the one. Hey, Capital City, fuck with me. You hear me? Capital City Mumbo. Um, another thing I, I like when I, I was getting my research, finding out about you and shit, you a businessman, or at least you business-minded. And I think that a lot of niggas in the city is so stuck on like hood domination, and that shit don't do nothing except for like, Nothing. Yeah, I like I like that hood <laughs> domination. They be worried about hood yeah, domination. True. Yeah, bro. They yeah. they they really do slam and I can't blame them for that. Yeah, this shit really get deep, man. I understand this shit. Niggas got families in this shit, like right. it's family ties, and like so it be hard. And I understand that shit, but that's not my circumstances. So I'm gonna get out of here. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? I feel that. I feel that. That's definitely a, a good way. What what? Put you into the business mindset though, like what inspired you or what made you think like that? Cause, you know, when I when I seen you say that, it wasn't like you was just saying it was like you had a little bit of insight to mm -hmm. it too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, um, I do want to know how you got to that. Then I got another one. Shit. For you. So, I like Wallow. I don't know. He from Philly and shit. He be doing a podcast, million dollars worth of game. Wallow came home. Woo -woo -woo -woo, like his shit, like tuppy, like damn, twenty years, like. And then he and he got his hands in so much shit. Then I look at oh shit, look at Ice Cube. He got his own motherfucking basketball league. You see what I'm saying? Like actors and shit, niggas signing people and shit. Got their own production. Like I could do that. When bro Ice Cube was in the trenches, right. L.A. Compton, South Central, whatever he was at, and he came out and he got his <laughs> own production, got his own league, Master P, got his own noodles and shit like that. So I just look at shit like that. Right. And I know I could do it. Right. I feel like I'm him. I know I'm him. In my head, like whatever anybody said, I, I'm him. Right. So I'm saying, if he could do it, I could do it 10 times better. I feel like the, the, what people go to is they go to like, and I know you're doing this too, and I ain't trying to downplay it, but I think that most people go like rapping, merch, and then they don't know what to do after that. I ain't saying you don't know what to do, but I'm just saying like that's where we see the line yeah, in there. I know yeah. you got a merch to the uh, G GSM. GSM, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, shout out. You know what I'm saying? GSM. Get some hoodies, money. Get, get you some money. money bro. You know what I'm saying? Get you some hoodies. Get you some gear. Uh, but it's much more than that. You know what I'm saying? You got to actually sell a hoodie. That ain't passive income. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when I send you a business man, I'm like, damn. Like, most niggas ain't thinking about no passive nothing. But niggas like Ice Cube, they don't rap no more. But yeah. they still him. Yeah. Yeah. They still and, the man. Right. I like how you hit that tip where it's like, because they hit the merch. I did just hit the merch, and I don't know where to go at. That's right. why I'm about to put myself out there so I network and we connect right. and I. No, nah, no, nah, I'm over right. I, I give you one right now. I don't know if, if you could get bank accounts. I know I know most of the men don't be trying to get mm -hmm. bank accounts, but I be in investing in stocks. So all 2024, if you see me doing interview, I'm telling nigga, go get you some stocks. Because my joint, I can show you right now. My joint paid me. I don't even open it. I don't even open it. I can put my phone right here. And the next, let's say, I ain't going to say every day, but once a week, I'm getting a check off some stocks, and I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just got the money sitting oh, in yeah. savings account. Oh, it's yeah. Just, oh, yeah, you got, thank you. Uh, basically, to break it down, they saying thank you for putting your money with yeah. us. So you go to your bank, yeah. they give you a yeah. little bit of interest. They ain't giving you nothing but a penny a month. You're right. My joint, they give me seven dollars. You hear me? Yeah. Off some slice shit. Really I ain't putting. I ain't putting nothing in there but maybe seventy seventy dollars. Yeah. They paying me seven dollars. Yeah. 
at least I'm getting that. Yeah, me once yeah. a week. The stock market definitely something I'm trying to get into. Like I'm buying all these brands and shit like that. Got them on my back, but I don't got no shares. Hey, so I'm saying I ain't buying no shares. And, and then, but it's something that I just gotta get into. Right. Once I get in that door, I'm I'm right. real estate. Right. I'm sports agency. I'm signing right. social media influencers, artists. Like yeah, like I ain't playing once right. I get in that door, soldier. Right. I mean, once you got the mindset, it's easier. Most niggas like, man, I ain't opening no motherfucking account. I ain't going paper this and that. I Man, you fucking your money up, and you ain't gonna be rapping for the next thirty years. Yeah, I mean, you might rap for five to ten years. Yeah. And Soldier Boy still on the yeah. internet. Ever. I'm the first. Yeah, yeah. Me, for getting that shit. Yeah. That's because people be satisfied with the short fame. See what I'm saying they not thinking longevity. Right. A lot of motherfuckers out here, homes, think they gonna die, or know they gonna die. Feel like they gonna get locked up. Like they really feeling in their heart. Right. So it's like when I'm thinking about twenty, I'm not about to live twenty years from ten years from now. I'm thugging right now. Right. So I'm saying, so it just be fucked up. Shit definitely get deep. Cool. Cool. That's a cool mindset, though. Shout out to you for, you know what I'm saying? For, Appreciate for, for that. even being on that level. My, my next joint, though, what can rap do for you? What could rap do for me? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't really in it for like, what rap could do for me. Or like, elaborate on that question. Uh. Man, I, listen, this is all I can say. A nigga told me, I interviewed a nigga one time, he told me, he said, my ex niggas from now on, you know, ex niggas, what can rap do for you? And the other side of the question is, what can you do for rap? So if you want to answer the second oh, one I, first, okay, boom, Okay, yeah, yeah, because I was about to say that, like, I'm not really in this shit for what a rapper do for me. You see, right. at the end of the day, like, I do this shit, like, if I could go on tour and perform for free, like, I do that shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. I love this shit. Right. So... But what I could do for rap, I could change the stigma of you gotta be a killer to like be be cool. Like you don't gotta be that. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's that's what the image of rappers right now. Everybody gotta be gangster. You see what I'm saying? That's what I would do for rap. I'd change that stigma. I like that. Would you do a song with a gospel rapper? Uh I would have to learn how to get in that field. I wouldn't, yeah, I would. I would just have to like Learn the shit, like right. you see what I'm saying. I'm not right. about to just jump in that joint and sound crazy. Right. But yeah, I would do it and learn my shit. Yeah, right. why not? Nah, I just seen, I just seen, bro. A nigga came out and he doing, he doing gospel drill rap. I play a song after each time cranking. You hear me? But I just wonder how many songs is he gonna do before the gospel drill drill rap. I'm gonna yeah, play that. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play it for you. I'm gonna play it for you. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if y'all want to see, I think bro name is uh, I think it's DG. I think it's like DBG. K I E D D G B K or something like that, but oh see, but he got his own lane. You know, that's how I was looking. I'm like, okay, he got his own lane. Shout out to bro, because there's niggas out here who really spiritual out here who probably looking for that shit. Right, I am. Praise the Lord. Nah, for real. But look though, uh, putting dogs in your video, I know, I know that's something you don't stand behind, and I, I just want to say for for the people watching, like. It mess up your brand value. Like we was talking about stocks. Like that'll make the price of uh let's just say for example, say cash out saying you got dogs in your videos. Them people looking like ah, he's got dogs, he's nah, probably in some gang violence. We can't, we can't we market you. Right. We can't one. put you in them target commercials, Pepsi's, Coca Cola. Right. You see what they I don't wanna <laughs> put it out like that, but I'm saying like John ja Morant, you see what I'm saying? Right. With that incident. Right. Like shit get start fucking up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We don't got time to be having missing money. And that's what they thinking in their head. I'm saying, which I understand. Right. This is business. The right. United States is ran on business. For sure. See what I'm saying? So I don't take none of that shit personal. Yeah, you shouldn't have dogs. I mean, that shouldn't you want to be your image anyway. That shouldn't right. police out here, all that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. nah. And that's another reason why I don't do that shit. Cause Officer police, Kelly. Oh, uh, yeah, officers be knowing me. Right. See what I'm saying? So I gotta move swift. Right. Stay out the mix. Like right. we started with the interview. Right. I gotta stay out the mix so I stay out here. Right. Oh bruh. Right, right. Nah, that's that's thorough though. I definitely respect that because a lot of niggas, I think, just don't consider that. They just don't think about that. Or I don't know why you trying to show a nigga like this, right? I'm not trying to show a nigga, I'm not trying to show no nigga, but I'm especially not trying to show a nigga who I'm beefing with or don't have more money than me. Like, 
and he can't fuck with me or, 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 or like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if you the enemy, it's just up. You yeah, me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, that's what it is, yeah. but it ain't no perpetrating and showing yeah. up and theatrics. Yeah, you but know it what goes saying? back to what you said, hood domination. Nigga looks sweet in his hood for doing that. So uh, nigga don't give a fuck what I'm talking about, give a fuck what you talking about. In his hood, he the man. But that should matter though, because if you out there, listen, I've been to a couple of hoods. I be in the hood every now and again. I ain't no hood nigga, but I be in the hood every yeah. now and again. The niggas out there, they know you. You live right there. You, you know what I'm saying? Your dog don't gotta be in the video because the, the people that's watching the video is for the people that's not in your hood. The people in your hood, they see you every day like it's a video. Yeah, it's not enough for niggas, certain people. It's not enough. You know? And and that's one of the things that I think is like more important is like I'm seeing a shift. And niggas ain't really too much on that. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully in 2024, we'll see niggas doing more. Yeah, because they see it ain't no money in it. They starting to see like, damn, I only get locked up. This shit, I only get be locked up or dead. Right. Bro, right. it's niggas out here who wasn't promoting that, that die. That's right. another reason why I got to get the fuck out of the city. Right. Swipey wasn't on the Swipey was just like on some fly shit. You see what I'm saying? True. He passed away. One right. of, uh, you see what I'm saying? DC legend. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, he fucked up. Man. Man, I think niggas, if niggas could just start thinking bigger, maybe niggas don't really believe in themselves. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to justify it or find, find, get down to the root source of, how the fuck don't you get it yet? Because we already done said that it's tipping. We already said it's drawing them. It's like, man, what is going to make a nigga stop? But neither here nor there. Um, I also heard you talking about how making content was important to you. Like, you know, and I think that's just one of the things I want to salute you for and why I was excited to come sit with you because, like, damn, you actually know some shit. A lot of niggas just be motherfucking. You knock on their head and that bitch echo. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, for days and yeah, shit. It's so because it's, niggas be big, real big-headed. You see what I'm saying? Certain shit, niggas like, man, I ain't doing that shit. I ain't paying for that shit. I'm too good to pay for certain shit. Right. Ah, using these platforms to get your names out there, shawty. Fuck the money. If you really, that's what I'm saying, niggas not trying to spend no money. If you ain't trying to spend no money in this shit, say fuck it. Well, bro, yeah. I'm trying to tell you what? a shortcut. What? Say fuck it. What? Well, bro, you not about, don't spend that. If you not about to spend this shit consistent, this shit costs. Well, bro, this but, shit costs. But I give, you, I give you another one. And for the people watching, just because I'm feeling generous today, if you get you an LLC, like a, a, wherever your, uh, at the bottom of your mixtape, wherever that company is, if you get an LLC, what you did is this is marketing and promotions. <laughs> they, they could write that shit off and mm -hmm. double it back. But that's what I'm saying. So many niggas just don't want to get on paper. And I ain't talking about them papers, but, you know, niggas just don't want to get on paper. So they missing out on plenty more opportunities and shit. So, you know, since you know, and it's like, that's another thing. People is one of the things I learned. When people see you helping yourself, people want to help you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? He putting in work or he trying or he learning yeah. or whatever, whatever. You so, motivating. Right. You right. Motivating. Um, you know, <laughs> do you think, oh, uh, and you also was talking about like storylines for videos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. creative direction. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. Y'all like been trying to creative direct for a couple of people oh. just because, like you said, that shit y'all getting repetitive yeah. or like. Yeah. You know, a nigga might be in the hood or yeah. everything is the same yeah. couple scenes or locations. Yeah. Like, man, you did a joint in New York. You know what I'm saying? I seen man, that I joint. John out Cali. Damn. In the little church type little set and jump. Like, right. I'm not playing, bro. So I'm saying that's important. Right. That's real important. See, once I get big and I get that bag and shit like, shit, shit like that, my shit gonna be looking like the baby Suge and shit like that. Like, right. He smart on oh, bro. He really did that motherfucker. Right. See what I'm saying? Go back to Little Chris. See what I'm saying? We talking about Little Chris videos, right. homes like right. that nigga was we talking about Slim Shady. I, see what I'm saying? Like these niggas' videos was fucking crazy. Right. I seen I seen a joint. I think whenever I think of creative direction, my funny or my favorite joint is uh motherfucking Young Thug got this one video. He not in the joint at all. Like he wasn't there. And in the video, they typing on the screen like. Thug was trying to make it here. He either got pulled over or was in traffic or whatever. Everybody was here. So he called and told everybody, fuck it, just do the video without me. And he real did. Hey, if you look at it, John looks sweet. Like uh, it's decent as shit, but he ain't in the joint. Uh, it's probably a like that. I can't think of what it is right now, but uh, you know. Yeah, that's 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 but that's cool. that's that creativity yeah. or at least being yeah. open to we gonna get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? I think that's important. Um what type of storylines did you want to go through and I'm saying fuck with? 
it really depends on the song. See what right. I'm saying? Like, I got a mixtape out right now before the album volume four, but I keep naming them before the album because I'm going to drop an album called All Eyes on Me. See what I'm saying? Right. Every song is going to have a different type of meaning. See what I'm saying? So right. one might be a jail song. One might be like a heartbreak song. One might be a in love song. See what I'm saying? Right. Every song is going to be like a different movie. Right. So it's going to be depending on the song. I like, I also like, um, I was listening to the before the albums. I think I listened to all of them except for one. But um, what I was going to say is that I like your beat selection. Like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if they all samples yeah. or, but I like your beat selection. Do you think that samples automatically make the song crank? I don't know. I, don't, I ain't going to say automatically. I ain't going to say automatically. See what I'm saying? I feel as though most of the time, because some people do get on, on the samples and don't really say nothing, but on them samples, like, you just, like, really got to talk. You see what I'm saying? You got to talk. Like, you can't right. just do that regular shit on that jump. So when I hit them samples, it's another little level I get on. Like, I be trying to get on. See what I'm right. saying? Wayne was dogging them samples. Kay. Wayne could dog any beat. Any, any beat. You see what I'm saying? Take your beat. Crank that motherfucker, you see what I'm saying? Make it a real song. So that's my favorite rapper. So right. shit like that, I be inspired about that. Cool, cool. Do you you uh you write or it'll be over the top? Shit, both. Okay. Both. Like I might write, have like three, four songs in my notes. Right. Go to the studio. See, when I write my songs, I might do my song in like 30, 40 minutes. You you write how you rap? You know yeah, what I'm saying? I learned it. Okay. I learned that. Cool. You gotta learn it. So I'm saying you're not gonna be able to uh, write how you freestyle right. when you're just beginning. So I'm saying you gotta learn it. You gotta learn your flows. Like nah, when I freestyle, it's a certain flow that I it, I just be dogging that shit. So I had to learn how to write that same way. So I'm saying like nah. You be fucking with like the voice memos or you just nah, you I be just trying to that catch shit. it. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I memorize my shit, so I might write that shit and go say it like. Multiple times before I get in the stoop, all four of them songs. Right. So I might damn near memorize the hook. Okay. In the first verse, you see what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I'm on the second verse. Like, yeah. Right. I be prepared. I'm real prepared. Like, I be looking at the videos when the producer be like, I hate when they come in. And nah, for okay. real, I'm covered okay. in prepared. I got my beats, all that shit. Nah, you definitely study for sure. It, yeah. it, it proves. It definitely shows and proves that you that you definitely out here studying. And I think that. Make it easier. Like that's one of the things I think most people overlook about Drake. Like Drake was like, man, I was studying the game for do 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 do. When we came in, and he just like that. Yeah, you know like what I'm saying? That. Like, like that. Like that. You feel like he an MC? Uh, I tell you like this, and for all the viewers watching, I don't listen to A-list rappers. Mm -hmm. So like Twenty One, Drake, I don't listen mm -hmm. to them because I don't feel like they need my support. They already rich. I okay. rather listen to Cash Out Son. You know okay. what I'm saying? Flock. Okay. The men, I'd rather mm -hmm. listen to the men because I know the men is trying to get to that level. A nigga okay. who already up there, like I, I was just telling the joint like this. Um, mm -hmm. when 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 21 Savage had his joint, I don't know what it was, I think it was called the slaughter tape. He had a joint on there, the song was called Motorcycle. That was the last time I really listened to 21 Savage. Yeah. Like everything else, I know this how, that's how I think about it. When I go out or I go to the club or I'm in the car, somebody else gonna play that shit. Yeah. I don't want to tie myself out yeah. and not hit that shit no more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When it come out, it might be some shit from three years. I'm like, oh, this joint just came. Yeah. I never heard it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just my perspective, especially doing this shit. Like, I'd much rather listen to local people. I got a couple out of town niggas I fuck with and shit, but i much rather support the locals because I'm trying to push to that level. You know what I'm saying? I like to go through and recommend when I see people when I step out or whatever. Yeah. whatever. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, do you think that rap has been watered down or you think it's evolving? Uh, and the whole or like D DMV. Man, you can answer both if you want. Okay. Uh, DMV. Nah, I don't think I I I think it's gonna start evolving because it's always gonna start evolving. But nah, it's it's kind of a kind of a repetitive thing, you Like, but it's artists out here doing their own thing on their own time. You hear me? Right. I think that was another that was another thing I really liked that you say you say uh. Uh, the free car music is like an outline. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's an outline. And niggas, an outline. like that, just made me think. 
when you in school and you got to write an essay, essay. you can't motherfucking... You can't. You not gonna get a hundred. Yeah. The teacher might give you a seventy-one. Yeah. She not gonna give you a ninety yeah. or nothing if you just straight off the outline. And that's what I think. Like that's another reason I just slow down all the interviews. I feel like all niggas rapping about the same shit. All niggas mm-hmm. talking about the same thing. Everything is free call music. I'm not really full promoting the violence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Yeah. I don't know the streets. I don't know the backstory. Yeah. I'm not full promoting the violence. Yeah. I really gotta listen. And so when I do listen. That should be absolutely nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah. it be the outline. Yeah, like, this nigga outline. telling the same story as this nigga, is this nigga <laughs> shooting the same joint as this nigga. Yeah. You know what but, I'm saying? Um, but, but you ain't really with the beef. So we ain't even got to get too much into that. But I did recently see that you opened up for uh for Skywalker and Skiller. How was yeah, that? That shit was lit. Shit. Uh, uh, I did a Richmond jump. And I did the John at Republic. That was that was the old bliss and shit. Okay. John out Richmond. I ain't gonna hold it. that shit was lit. Right. Like, that shit was super lit. But John in, in the city, that John was cool though. That John was lit. Everybody okay. was fucking with us and shit like right. that. But energy at Richmond. Energy at Richmond. They don't know, like they really don't know who I am, but the right. energy, that's what I right. was saying. They welcome me. Yeah. Right. Yeah, bro. Did you uh what what songs you perform and how many you perform? Uh, I performed two songs uh, at both of the jumps and shit. One of the jumps was a unreleased jump called Payday, and the other jump was called Got Got It At All. Okay. That's on my uh, Before the Album, Volume 4. W- one more time? What was the name of it? Uh, got It At All. Got It At All. Got It At All. I'm trying to think. I got to look and see which joints I like. I was listening to everything else. I was listening to them joints all week, yeah. but then I just heard, I heard Wait, and then I heard oh, another wait. joint that was... I listen to, I think, Mariah yeah, and the Mariah. other joint, too. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to all the yeah, top yeah, yeah. songs. I ain't want to listen to them joints. I want, yeah, to, yeah. I want to hear your whole catalog yeah. and see what you, what you got going on. Um, I definitely did. like. That's what I said, though. That's why I like the samples and, and everything like that. Um, man, Officer Kelly be on your line, right? Yeah, he be in my way sometimes and shit like that. But shit, I'm out of the way now, so I ain't ain't no nobody. Can't nobody be on my line anyway. What? I'm out of the way. So, I I was gonna say though, do you think that the police do more harassment than protecting? Yeah, hundred percent. Have you seen been in, in DC all your life? Have you seen police actually protect people? Nah, <laughs> but I've been harassed. I didn't Way have more harassed. times. I didn't have guns out on me. Right. Walking, they niggas talking about carjack to my while I was walking. You see what I'm saying? Dogs put out on me. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have real teams, ARPs. You see what I'm saying? Get me off the bus, like, for nothing. For nothing, right. bruh. You see what I'm saying? Like, real harassment. Niggas with choppers shutting down the whole street for right. me, cash out sent. And I don't be on nothing, bruh. You know hear I me? Mean? Right. I stay out the way. You see what I'm saying? I don't promote nothing or nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like, be goofy shit. You think it's you think it's cause you wear a black hoodie? I don't I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Okay. They just be in the way. And in my personal perspective, all things regarded, fuck twelve. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, I know it's, it's it's parents and kids who got family as officers, but they not making their impact enough to make these other people stop doing what they doing. I done seen officers, like I said, I be in the hood every now and again. I seen officers just stand by and, you know, a nigga might really be wrong or a nigga don't have no probable cause. Yeah. A nigga just stand there yeah. watching his hands in his yeah. pocket. I tell you, yeah, you's a bitch. You ain't going to correct yeah. his mind when he wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. one of the things I think. Yeah. Hood to hood, a nigga going to tell a nigga when he wrong. Yeah. But it's a game. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's blue gang. You see what I'm saying? They either just they either they the badge gang. You right. You see what I'm saying? Like, so... He not gonna do nothing. Just like how if your man in the wrong and you backing him up anytime, right? It's the same way. Right. So I look at shit both ways, Slim. So okay. I'm staying, I'm staying out their way. What what movie you feel like taught you the most? Like principles that you that you carry with yourself on a day to day. I well, movies ain't like I swear to God I'm not no movie person. Damn. Like I gotta, like I gotta rewatch shit like I just seen shit when I was younger and shit. Ain't no, ain't no movies more me, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Like, Respect. But I'd seen the 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 hood uh what's my favorite jump? I like juice. You okay. see what I'm saying? Juice is cool. I like I like fresh. Fresh. Oh yeah, I think that was the joint with ASAP. Nah, or nah, he had a nah, fade nah, or something. Nah, nah, nah. It, was, it was fresher, you little young young nigga. 
motherfucking I feel like serving I that. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got to look into that. I can it's definitely get, fresh. I got to see that joint, because yeah. if, if we on that level, I'm fucking with Snowfall Heavy. Okay. You ain't seen that joint? Yeah, the series, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Snowfall. I ain't like, seen the... But I don't. It's like everybody stops making that man now. I, was like, I ain't. I ain't seen that for. I think. I think I stopped. I usually live out the A and shit. So when I lived out the A, I'm motherfucking. I think I watched a whole season in a day. Oh, uh, and yeah, I came yeah. on. I said, Oh, this ain't job. Yeah, yeah, like it, that. Yeah, it gets yeah. you like that now, for real. Yeah, it definitely do that. Definitely do that. Who Who is the uh, the main person who make your beats? Uh, <laughs> my man AB used to make them jumps and shit like that. Uh, but, or, or how you coming across the sample joints? So often. Shit, I, I be buying them jumps off B stars and shit like that. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So I might go on there, find some little shit, then yeah, just buy it, load it up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You got the uh the new project coming out. What is it is it gonna be another before the album or is it gonna be all eyes on yeah, me yeah, this year? Nah, I'm I'm driving another before the album. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? This young gonna be better. Okay. I just want people to see the progression. I do see it though. I definitely see it. And that's what I was going to do. We got a new series. You the first person who ever did this oh, joint yeah, ever, right? That's this joint. Right. My man Cash Appreciate that was saying so the now. people know. You know what I'm saying? But this joint is called Lyrical Check In. You know what I'm saying? So I just want I'm hearing, I'm listening. I said, Oh, what they what what do you mean though? Right? <laughs> um it was one joint that you said Mike cut off his wrist. I fuck with his watch. Oh, yeah. Remember that joint? No, ad-lib. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm like, ho, like, <laughs> with, like, I mean, we don't gotta get into the details yeah. of fuck you, you gonna use like the, <laughs> the zzz joint or you gonna use this joint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Gotta, gotta use, nah, you gotta use a chainsaw. Okay. Yeah, you gotta quick and easy. Yeah, okay. Just take the joint off the, yeah. Right, right, nah, respect. <laughs> and then, and then another joint, I don't know what some, I couldn't, I tried to rewind it, but I was just, they were just playing through. Yeah. I couldn't figure out which one it was because I just had AirPods on. But you say, uh, what, you say something like, Getting the bread, I'm gonna make me a cold cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's weight. That jump old as shit. Oh, that was weight, okay, yeah. yeah. I thought it I thought it was, but when I played it, I couldn't find it against so I said, oh, maybe it was a different joint. Yeah, nah, that was weight. Niggas be fucking with weight. Niggas be fucking with weight. Yeah, that's it's old. cool. It's old, you see what I'm saying? But that's cool. You see what I'm saying? That's what I want my music job like to be. You see what I'm saying? Timeless job, like, you see what I'm saying? How right. people could go back, be like, oh, this like two, three years ago. This jump, I like rock though. Right. That's cool. I like that. Nah, you definitely put in that work, and that's why that's why I'm like, ho, oh. I had to, I had to do that because, like I said, lyrical check out. I ain't trying, we ain't trying to check the wrong lyrics. Yeah, yeah me trying yeah. to check some joints yeah. that's that. So yeah. that's why I said, okay, let me go ahead and, and do that. Um, but I got some random questions though. I got some random questions. How? Actually, before we get into the random questions, when is the next tape coming out? Uh. I don't got I no set. I feel like you just dropped before the yeah, album yeah, that joint recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't got no set date for okay. it. Okay. It's, it's just another before the album. Come. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. I ain't done. I ain't done with what? volume four yet. Right. Yeah, I got. I but got you, you, you going to take it on like volume 15? If I got to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until all eyes on me. Right. I ain't dropping all eyes on me. What, what would make that one of them make a time for that? Like what? What's what's the the criteria that you look at, the boxes you trying to check off that say all right, now we got it. I can't tell you that. I'm gonna just know. Respect. That's gonna be something and be like, yeah, show. Okay, it's time. yeah, it's you time. Know what I'm it's time. Respect. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Man, we are gonna hop into the five random questions though. The 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 legendary favorite on Taco Talks TV. The five random questions, right? These joints is off the wall, right? The first joint I got, if they gave you free land. Would you move to Africa? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I would have to do research. You know what I'm saying, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know about Africa. You know what but I'm saying though, you you said you ain't want to stay here. You trying to stay in the states, or you want to go live internationally? Me myself, I'm trying to go to. I'm trying to go live in Canada. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go up there in Toronto. Been there before? I never been there. I, hey, look, I tell you though, I went to Niagara Falls, and from my hotel, I could see the border to go to Canada. I just ain't had my passport with me. I'm mad as shit. I'm yeah. like, damn, I was yeah. supposed to go up. But like, but do you be looking into it though? 
Like, what's the reason why you want to go to Canada? Oh, they diverse over there, and I know they all got accents. I'm really trying to go with people who got accents and shit. So I could go down to Texas and shit, okay. or, or, you know, the South or something. But I'm trying to go over there because I know when I go over there and we get in the section, they're like, ho, oh, Saudi now from here? Where yeah, he yeah, from? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that about anywhere. It don't got to be Canada. Canada is just one of them spots. Okay. So to answer your question, I don't. if I get land in Africa, I don't know if I would live there. But I would definitely do something with it. For sure. For the community. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's right. not going to just be lying right there for nothing. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey, look. The second random question, though. Should you still wear rubber if you already ate the box? Do you want Do you want kids? If you If you want kids, <laughs> nah. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> get that jump, cause it ain't. You not using the now. If you ate the jump, you not using the rubber for no disease. Right. Yeah, no. Nah, right. You just using the rubber so you don't have no kids. Right. You know what I'm saying. So it's just uh, it's the, the scenario. You know now, what I'm saying. I seen that joint. I said, "Ho, oh, that was like the last, the last thing that had popped up across my motherfucking uh my Instagram before we started this joint." I said, "Ho, oh, that's." I mean, I like ain't eating no jump if she ain't my girl or I done been fucking with her for a while anyway. Cool. If you do that and you don't know what the fuck you eating, then yeah, you a wild man. You deserve that like anything you get, soldier. Okay, okay. Nah, <laughs> I definitely feel that. Hey, would you snitch on your mom or cheat on your wife? Cheat on my wife. Damn. What if it was no consequence, but you just snitch on my mom? Nah. <laughs> snitch about what? What you talking about? I don't know. I don't have no allegations. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> fuck no. I'm cheating on my wife every day. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, um, mm, mm, mm. hey, do me a favor though. Spell off, O F F, and then spell ice. I C E. And then what word is that? If you put those two Office. words, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, I man, I like on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. You ain't no dumb nigga. Why, why, why? Hold on, I got one more. I got one more. Fifth and last random question. I think that was five, and if it wasn't. I might give you one more. But look, uh, if they got peach and strawberry lemonade, all right, what flavor is pink lemonade? They got peach and strawberry lemonade. What is pink lemonade? Yeah, what flavor is pink lemonade? Pink lemonade. I don't, I'm, I don't know. You got me. Hey, I don't know either. I, <laughs> hear me, I don't know either. I, you hear me, I'm just here to ask the questions. Hey, I ain't nah, got the yeah, answers, man. Hey, um, and I give you, I give you one last joint. What's the dumbest thing you done spend money on? Shit, motherfucking, uh, clothes. Nah, clothes. I don't do nothing dumb and shit, but. Uh, yeah, that, I don't really be doing nothing you, stupid with my money. You the, you the type to get your clothes away or you the type to sell your clothes? Nah, I don't, I don't be giving. I sell my shit. I, I ain't gonna lie. I seen a nigga on my Instagram, Shorty, was giving away Rick Owens and Supreme yeah, hoodies. Nah, and yeah. I said, oh, he getting money. Shorty. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah that's money. He See must be. Like, niggas could do that. What? I ain't even doing that. But I didn't gave away. We didn't did a toy kill, drive. Kill, GSM kill, kill. jump. GSM okay. toy drive. We gave away toys and shit. Right. I, yeah. So I get back and shit like that. Okay. Now I fuck with that. What what is next in 2024? Like what's shit. the next things you got lined up? Shit, I'm just pushing these music. I'm about to have endless music videos. I gotta be on a whole bunch of different platforms and different states and shit like that. Like, right. Just getting my face out here. I know you like to travel a lot. And it's the final question. What, what's the the top three places that you want to travel to and work with them people? Shit, I'm trying to go to Houston. You know what I'm saying, just trying to network in there. I don't really got no specific person I'm trying to work with. Cool. Cali, I gotta show my face in Cali. And you gotta go to Atlanta. I gotta go to Atlanta. Right. You been you been any of them places before? Yeah, I've been to Atlanta. Okay. You had it. You, you was fucking um, with it. You can't have weed. I got arrested all that junk. Right, right, right. Like, Me you too. can't have weed or yeah. none of that. Like, nah. Right. Nah. Then I got, they arrested me and like sent me to the white pot Jackson, Jackson County or something like that. Right. Nah. Styling. Nah, yeah. Cool. 
Anything else you want to add? Anything I missed? Anything you want to chat about? Uh, nah, man. We 2024, I'm coming high. You hear me? GSM shit. You hear me? Like, that's, that's really nothing to say. You hear me? You going to see what you going to see how I'm working. You see what I'm saying? And, and let them know your name and let them know you watching Taco Talks TV. Cat, this cash out center, you watching Tacos Talk TV. Hey, man, say, man, thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned in with the motherfucking voice of the youth, Taco Talks TV. We just did a great interview with Cash Out Sin, man. Um, and we wrapping it up. So I just want to tell y'all, peace out, Girl Scout. Sweet dreams is down to dreams. See you around like a donut. And make sure you stay tuned to motherfucking Taco Talks TV. Cash Out Sin. Oh, 2024, we doing more kicking down them doors. You hear me? Yes, sir.